Let's take a look at how to design a simple shelf in Fusion 360. Um, this is one that we're going to be building on the CNC machine. So we're going to have to look at some jointry and how these pieces are going to connect together. Um, but essentially the shelf is 600 millimeters long, 250 millimeters deep by 200 high and consists of four different parts. So the two sides are part one and part two are my sides. Three is the bottom, four is the back. Um, so before I get going on this, we're going to set some parameters and then draw the sides and set it up. So I'm going to go into a new file. I'm just going to get out of sketch mode there. And I'm going to go to modify, change parameters. And we'll set up some parameters in here. Now, first thing I'm going to do is set the thickness of my material. Um, for this one, I'd probably be using 17 mil plywood. I could go thinner than that, but being we're setting it as a parameter, we can always change it later. So thickness of my material, 17. The overall length of my part, or of the shelf, is going to be 600. The height, what do we say, 200. And the depth, we said, is 250. So I've got some parameters preset. Now, I can change it in time, but this is just the basics that I had on my sketch. Um, I'm also going to add one for a tooth thickness. Now, remember, we did this for laser cutting. Um, but for using the CNC as well, we can use teeth to put things together. And it's a really simple way to do this. So let's say tooth width and just looking at our sizes let's let's set our tooth width to 50 mils for now so i've got that 50 mil in there and that is well actually let's add one more typically on something like this we're going to use a six millimeter tool to cut it out so i'm just going to come in one more and i'm going to say tool tool diameter and i'll set that to six mil You'll see why we need that later on. So a bunch of parameters that I can use. I click OK, and now I'm in the sketch space with that stuff set up. I'm going to go Create Sketch and click on one of the sides. So now I'm in my space here, and I can start drawing. So the side of my shelf, what do we say? This is going to be the height. So there's my height that's in there. And we'll start another line here. This was our, oops, our depth. So I've got some nice shapes there. And then let's go sketch again. And now this one, I don't have a predetermined dimension of what I want this to look at. Like, let's just say 50 mil seems like a good number. And I'm going to go 50 mils from the bottom, too. We might live to regret that later. And I'll draw a line. So there's the side of my shelf. So real simple. I'll finish that sketch. And I'm going to extrude it, my thickness. So there's the side piece. So real simple. There's a side. Now I do need two sides. So I'm gonna come up to construct, which I've done already, and do an offset plane. I wanna go from my side here, and I want this to be, now we've got a negative number, so let's say negative length divided by two. And that's gonna put it right in the middle of what we were thinking. Now I can take this and mirror it over, but before that, I'll just take a look at what's over here in my browser. Right now, that is a body. So if I come here, you can see it's body one. I don't overlay like working in bodies. So I'm going to right click on that and call it a component. So create component from body. And you'll see that it shows up here. I'm also going to rename that side one. So I got it labeled as side. There's the side. Under create, we've got the mirror command. So I'm going to go to mirror. It's already a component. 
mirror plane, which is this one, and I can click OK. And now you can see that I've got that split apart. So let's come around and take a look at the bottom. So this is going to be the bottom of my shelf. I'm going to create a sketch on here. Now it twisted. I can change that by clicking arrows here, changes it back. And we're going to make a rectangle from there over to this far side. Now see how it's not snapping to that point? I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to hit P for project. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on the other one just to be safe. Should already be there, but that's okay. And go okay. Now you can see that geometry showing up. So back into my rectangle. I'm going to go from the inside to there. So that's the inside piece. The other thing that I'm going to do is draw a tooth on here. Now, it's saying 17 right now, but I'm just going to change that to thickness, which is 17, but just to keep the variables correct. And I'm going to tab over there, and we're going to call that our tooth width, which was 50. And real simple, just a single tooth there. Now, I could dimension this from the edge, which is probably a good idea. So let's go midpoint that line and that line, and it's just going to push that to a midpoint. Now, I can do the same thing on the other side here. I can play around with my constraints if I wanted, or we can just come over, dotted line. So again, it's got 50 there, but I'm still going to change this to tooth width, and I'm going to change that to thickness just to be safe. Um, I made it parallel to that, but I can also just use that midpoint again and say midpoint here, midpoint there. And there's a triangle, and you can see everything turn black with those constraints. So there's the bottom of my shelf. I'm going to go stop sketch and extrude. So I click on that, click on that, click on that. So I've got all my components. Take a look at it in 3D, and I want this to come up negative thickness because it's giving us a negative number. So you can see right now it's set to cut, but we want to change that to new component. So I click new component in my extrude. I click OK, and there's the bottom of my shelf with the joints cut into place. Um, remember in the laser cutting one, we did a look at combine. So I'm going to go Modify, Combine. Target body is the one that you want to cut. So that's a target body. We'll see if it'll let me do two. No, it won't let me do two. So target body, tool body, I want to cut, and I want to keep my tool. I click OK. So that's going to cut that side. I'm going to do it again. So Modify, Target body, Tool body, and I click OK. So now if I turn off that component, you can see that it's cut into my size. Real simple way of doing it, but that's going to put in that back piece, or that bottom piece. Turn around to the back, we can start another sketch on here. I'm going to go P for project again and grab some geometry and go OK and draw a rectangle from the top corner down to the bottom corner. <laughs> One second. Okay, Google, turn off alarm. If you just asked to cancel an alarm, there are none set at the moment. Anyway, that's Google for you. All right, so I've got my box set up, and I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to draw another tooth on the side. So again, tooth width tab, and that's going to be our thickness and enter, and I'm going to use that midpoint constraint again to do the midpoint of this line to the midpoint of that line. So you can see that it's come in, it's centered, it's not centered to our bottom, it's centered to the side. And we'll do the same thing on this side. I'm not going to worry about stretching over like we did last time. So tooth width, 
tab thickness. And I'll bring that down, enter, and then I'm going to use that midpoint again. So midpoint here to midpoint there. Looks like it lines up. That's good. I can now stop the sketch and we can extrude this, this, and this up into our part. Now again, we want that to be negative thickness and we want to set this to new component. We click OK, there's a new piece. Same as before, we want to go combine our target body. Oop, that's not our target. Is that side. Our tool is that new is that new back piece. We're going to go OK. We go combine again. Our target is there. Our tool is there. And we go OK. And that's left a real simple kind of shelf. Now, I could have added another tooth down here. I think you guys understand how we would do that. I'm going to turn, actually leave that on for a second. I'm going to start one more sketch on the back here. And I'm just going to draw two points. So I'm going to do a point here. And we'll put another point down there. So we've got two. Deeper dimension. Let's say... Uh, let's say that this is going to be our height divided by 2. So it's still a constraint. We're in dimension from here to here. And just so we're using our constraints, we'll use that tooth width. And that's going to make those two points. We do the same from here to here. And we could probably do that tooth width again. So then that's fully constrained. I'm going to finish the sketch. I've got my two points there. And now I'm going to come to use hole. So I click on hole. We haven't used this one yet. Now it says select sketch points. Well, there's a sketch point. There's a sketch point. That's a little big. But we've got different hole types here that we can choose. So I'm just going to countersink it because it's going to be mounted on a wall. I want it to be countersunk. I want the diameter of my hole just to be four mils so I can put a screw through it. I want the top angle to be, let's say, 45, which changes things a little bit. And let's say, let's set the top to, I don't know, seven mil. So we look at that, that maybe we'll go a bit bigger. Let's go 9 mil. So it gives you a nice little countersunk hole. And we go OK. And you can see that I've got those two holes nicely done countersunk like that. I can then go to Create and Mirror. And let me do this as a feature. Yeah, so it's a feature. My mirror plane is going to be there. And I click OK, and that is making those two holes on the other side. So like that, we've got a ba basic shelf. And I can always go back into Modify, change parameters, and modify any of these. So if I wanted it to be a bit smaller, we could do that. And you'll see that there's the same shelf. Everything is changed, um, but it all still works together. Change parameters again. Maybe I want to change the height to 400. We go OK, and that's modified that. Now we've lost two of our holes, which is fine. You would just have to go back and modify those. But let's jump back in that change parameters and set that back to where it was. So this was, what, 200, and our length was 600. And there we go. So holes are back. Shelf is the way that we like it. I'm going to stop the video there. This one is probably going to end up being a two-parter after the next step.